Welcome to the Direct with Hotels Hotelier Extranet. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing how to update rates. There are four ways by which you can edit rates offered on the internet booking engine. First, you can update rates for a rate plan directly on the rate plan specific calendar. Next, you can do a bulk update specific to the rate plan via the rate plan section. Third, you can update rates for several rate plans directly on the online selling rates calendar. And last, you can do a bulk update for several rate plans via the calendar section. Let's start with updating rates specific to a rate plan via the rate plan specific online selling rates calendar. Click the channel management tab header and click rate plans from the left navigation to display a list of rate plans offered for your hotel. Select the rate plan that you wish to edit to display its edit panel. Click Rooms and Rates tab and click on Online Selling Rates to display the section where you can directly edit the rates. So for this instance, I want to update rates starting from the 15th of March. So I'm going to refresh the calendar starting on that date and then I can proceed to editing the rates for the room types displayed. So I want to be able to increase the rate for both room types on weekends by 500. So I'm going to change Deluxe Room to 5,500 and the Standard Room to 5,000. And I'll also do the same for the other Friday and Saturday displayed on this calendar. And then for the standard room, that's 5,000. Now notice that as you edit the rates, the save and cancel buttons appear. Note that you cannot go to another section of the Hotelier Extranet unless you either save or cancel the changes you've made to the calendar. Once you click the save button, a confirmation message will be thrown at you asking you if you are sure that the rates you've inputted are inclusive of taxes and surcharges. Click No to return to the calendar section or click Yes if you are sure that the rates you've inputted are accurate. This method is recommended if you are updating rates for just one rate plan only for the specific dates displayed on the calendar. If you want to change rates for a date range, like for peak season or lean season, it is highly recommended that you do it via the bulk update functionality specific to the rate plan. Click the bulk update button above the online selling rates calendar and select change rates for a period. You'll notice that the option change rates for a period and the rate plan that you are editing have already been selected. Identify the date range that you wish to edit and directly input the rates applicable for the room types listed for the date range you've identified. So what I want to do is to change the rates entirely for April as this is my peak period. So I'll select start date April 1 and end date April 30th. I'm going to increase the rate for standard room by about 1000. So that's going to be 5000. and the deluxe room will increase to 6,000. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to click on the finish button and again, a confirmation message will be thrown at the user asking them if they are sure that they've inputted rates that are inclusive of taxes and surcharges. As soon as you click yes, you will be taken back to the rooms and rates tab of the rate plan that you are editing and display the calendar once again. So to check if the rates you've inputted are reflected correctly, select the new start date for the calendar. So for this instance, I'm going to select the 1st of April. And then I'll get to see that the rates have been updated accordingly. There are cases when some of the rate plans you are offering on the internet booking engine do not include all the room types offered at your hotel. So in case you want to add more room types to the rate plan that you are editing, 
all you have to do is to click on the bulk updates button to display the drop down menu. Select add one or more room types to this rate plan to display a window listing all the available room types that you can still add to the rate plan. Click next after selecting the room type and proceed to input the rates accordingly. So if this rate plan is valid for 14 months rolling, then I'm going to select on that. We'll discuss more about 14 months rolling later on. So for the junior suite, I want to assign the rate 5,500 and this will be saved for 14 months starting from the current date. As soon as you're done, click the finish button and again the system will confirm with you if you have inputted rates that are inclusive of taxes and surcharges. Once you save the additional room type, you'll notice that the calendar now displays rate for the room type that you've just added. If you wish to update several rate plans at a time, you may do so via the calendar section. Click Calendar from the left navigation to display the section where you can edit the rates. The second calendar that you see is the one that we are looking for. So to maximize your view of the online selling rates calendar, I suggest that you hide the room availability calendar for now by clicking on the calendar header. So I'm going to edit the rates for standard room for all the rate plans. So it depends on what dates you need, so you could adjust accordingly. So I'm going to adjust standard room for internet daily rates, as well as for this day, three nights pay for two rate plan. So I'm going to decrease that by 200 as well. And I'm going to edit the package rate for standard room in three days, two nights special promo. So I'm going to decrease that to just 7,000. Notice that as you edit the rates on the calendar, the save and cancel buttons appear. So same as what I've shown you earlier, clicking the save button will refresh the calendar and display the new rates while clicking cancel will discard any changes that you've made. Now, this method is recommended if you are updating rates for the dates displayed on the calendar, especially if you wish to update rates on a daily basis for same-day reservations. So you could adjust the rates for the date starting today, and then you can do that on a daily basis as you practice dynamic pricing for your property. If you want to change rates for several rate plans for a date range, click the bulk updates button to open the pop-up window where you can edit rates for a period. Select change rates for a period and identify the date range that you want to edit. Say for example, you want to edit rates for your low season, which could be the 1st of June all the way to the 31st of October. And then you select the rate plans that you want to edit. So I want to be able to edit all the rate plans at the same time. Notice that as you select the rate plans that you want to edit, the list of rooms offered for each rate plan are reflected in step 4. So go ahead and input the rates accordingly for this particular period. So since this is the lean season, my rates would be lower compared to what I see on the calendar right now. So for standard room, 3 days, 2 nights special promo, the original rate is 7,500. I'm going to decrease that to 6,000. For the internet daily rates, and I will be required to input here nightly rates, I'm going to adjust that accordingly by decreasing the rate by 1,000. So for standard room, that's going to be 3,500. For deluxe room, that's going to be 4,000. And for junior suite, that's going to be 4,500. Notice that as you input rates under the all column, all the days will be populated accordingly. Now, for a free nights package, all you have to do is to also input the nightly rate. So we're going to decrease that by 1,000 as well as my lean season rate. 
and you'll see that all the days have been populated accordingly. Now, the 3 days 2 nights special promo is a fixed night package. So, you are required to input total package rate for all the days of the week. Now, there are some instances wherein you have to also edit the additional nightly rate for this package. So, click on the add column and input the nightly rate accordingly. So, for this instance, I'm going to set additional night rate at 3000 and I will allow maximum additional night to up to 5. Notice that you can only do this for fixed nights rate plan. You cannot input additional night rate and maximum additional night for nightly rates such as the internet daily rates and free nights package such as stay three nights and pay for two. So no matter how you click these cells, they won't allow you to input rate because it is disabled. Once you're done inputting the rates applicable for the period that you've identified, click Finish. Once again, the system will throw a confirmation message asking if you are sure that you've inputted rates that are inclusive of taxes and surcharges. So click Yes to save that into the system. And then you can refresh the calendar starting from the start date you've identified in the bulk update section. So we'll go to the month of June and see whether rates have been updated accordingly. You'll notice that starting on the 1st of June, the rates have been updated according to the values that they've inputted in the bulk update section. To check that the rates you inputted are the ones that you want to confirm to guests who will reserve online, click the View Internet Booking Engine button. This will open a pop-up window that allows you to view how the rate plans are displayed to guests who want to make an online reservation. This is a replica of the Internet Booking Engine and will allow you to go to steps 1 through 3, without actually requiring you to provide credit card details to confirm the reservation. So as you can recall, we edited the rates for low season, so we're going to show the calendar starting from the 1st of June. Alright, so I'm going to select my dates of stay, say for example, the 1st of June all the way to the 4th, and click View Rooms and Rates to proceed to the next step. In this section, you will see the arrival and the departure dates, the number of nights, and the room amenities common to all the room types offered. So I'm going to scroll down to view what sort of packages that the guests can see when they select these dates. So you can see there the three days, two nights special promo, which we've edited earlier to just 6,000 for this period and an additional night rate of 3,000, making the total cost per room 9,000 pesos. Scroll down further and then you'll get to see the stay three nights pay for two. So you'll see the rate 6,500 total, divide this into two because the guest only needs to pay for two nights and that's equivalent to 3,250 which we've inputted earlier in the bulk update section. Scroll down further to see the internet daily rates for all the room types and you'll get to see the updated rates as well. So if you'll take a look at average price per night column, you'll see that the rates we've inputted earlier in the bulk update section are reflected accordingly. So for standard room, that's 3,500. For the deluxe room, that's 4,000. And for junior suite, that's 4,500. So you'll notice that the rates displayed on the internet booking engine are arranged according to increasing rates. So once you're done reviewing the rates you've inputted and whether they are reflecting correctly on the internet booking engine, you may click on the close button to return to the calendar section. One tip that I can give you is that editing rates for a period doesn't mean that you need to input rates for all days of the week. In some cases, you may want to change rates for all Mondays for the date range you selected or maybe change rates only for weekends. The bulk update section is very flexible and will allow you 
to edit the rates as you see fit. So for example, to illustrate, I'm going to click on bulk updates once again, select date range starting on the 1st of June all the way to the 31st of October. Since this is my lean season and I could afford to offer low rates, and then I'm going to select internet daily rates. So for all weekends, that is Friday and Saturday, the rates that I'm going to offer to guests would be lower by about 500. So my standard room will become 3000 for Friday and Saturday. My deluxe room would become 3500. And my junior suite would become 4000. As soon as you're done editing, you could click Finish so that you could return to the calendar and view that the weekend rates have been updated accordingly. So, take a look at your Friday and Saturday rates. They are now decreased by 500 for internet daily rates. Going back to the bulk update section, you may have also noticed that there is a checkbox for 14 months rolling. So when you select this option, it will disable the end date field and would roll the rates you'll input in step 4. So to illustrate, I want to update rates for stay 3 nights and pay for 2. And I'm going to apply 14 months rolling to the rate of 3250. As soon as I'm done, I'll click the finish button and the calendar will refresh with the new rates up to 14 months from today. So now you can see that the standard room for stay 3 nights pay for 2 has been updated to 3250 and if we go to 14 months from today, you'll get to see that this is the rate applied until that day. What does 14 rolling months mean? This simply means that the system, on a daily basis, will automatically assign rates to the date exactly 14 months from the current date using the last value that you saved as 14 months rolling. So come tomorrow, when you check the Hotelier Extranet once again, you'll see the date, the first date that is left blank in the Hotelier Extranet will be populated with 3,250, which is the last rate you've saved as 14 months rolling. Before we end this video tutorial, I would like to give you a few reminders to take note of as you edit rates on the Hotelier Extranet. First, always input rates that are inclusive of all additional charges. These are your taxes and fees, such as government tax and service charges. Next, input nightly rates for nightly rates and free nights rate plans. For fixed night rate plans, always input total package rates. Always check how each rate plan will appear in the Internet Booking Engine by clicking the View Internet Booking Engine button. This is to ensure that the rates that you input on the Hotelier Extranet are accurate when the guest sees it online. Should you need to refresh your knowledge on how to edit rates on the Hotelier Extranet, feel free to view this video at any time. You may also refer to the context-sensitive help windows by clicking on the question mark icon located in the upper right corner of every section or pop-up window that requires your action. You may also go to the account management help section where you get to see the consolidated help content of the Hotelier Extranet. Should you need further assistance, you may always go back to the Dashboard Quick Link section and click Contact Direct with Hotels. This will open a pop-up window where you could state your concern. Clicking the Send button will send an email to the Direct with Hotel support team who will get in touch with you immediately.